Oh, who say does that star spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home? To celebrate our nation, that was Skyler Cole with tonight's national anthem performance. All good. And when they dropping off all that drip for free, you know you got power. They try to throw the home bag at me. Oh yeah, I know I got power. I got power, what you sing okay. I got power, what you sing I said, put in the hours I look at you, face down on the floor I told you, you don't have it Welcome, fans. Thanks for joining us for this Friday night edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan along courtside with Brett Berry and Greg Anthony. We've got David Aldridge on our sideline. And a look at the block shot number over the last few seasons for Miles Turner. The blocks just aren't coming for him nearly as much as they were a few years ago. I think he's lost a little something in terms of that intimidation factor and that ability to change a game with his interior defense, and that's too bad. Now let's take a look at the Nuggets opening lineup. Michael Porter's out there with Goose, and it's prime time. Then there's Murray, and it's Jokic in at the five, roaming the paint, and for Sacramento. Sabonis is the center with Murray next to him. Fox is out there with Shake and Bake, and it's Bogdanovich in at the small forward position. And Greg, with back-to-back -back games part of the schedule, how do teams feel getting into the latter part of that combo, like tonight? Well, these games can be especially taxing mentally and physically. At this point, it's a war of attrition, and really, who can survive the night? So Sacramento will get the first possession. Passes it to Shaken Bay. Trying to find Fox. Gets it to him. Plays it up and banks it in. Fox has got the game going with his first points of the game for Sacramento. Fox getting in. Nifty scoring there. Not hesitating inside. Murray the pass to Jokic. Outside Jennings. Shot clock at six. Cuts at five. Sacramento grabs the miss. Now, here's Fox. Launches a three, and the three ball is good. Fox has got five. Well, Fox trying to work on that outside jump shot, become more consistent. Nice bucket. There. Murray against Fox. And there's the pass to Porter. Good, and the assist goes to Murray. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. Well, both of them looking towards the three-point line, and I like to see that, especially when the results are made buckets. From deep three-point territory, and it's Lowry with the rebound. Really excellent defense there. They know he's capable of knocking it down from the outside, and they could not have played him better. And that one's good by Porter. Yeah, the D's going to want to find MPJ, especially from the corner. He's consistent from there. Here's Shake and Bake. He's covered by Murray. So weird. Sometimes when you get that much time, it can throw you off just as much as having no time. And the officials will call the illegal screen right there. That's going to draw a whistle every time down the floor. Not even close to being a legal screen. Yeah, everybody saw that one. That was pretty blatant there. Kings have gone two for four from the field so far today. Pass to Sabonis. Dishes it to Fox. From downtown. And it's Lowry with the rebound. So for Sacramento, their last game, a loss to the Detroit Pistons. 
Murray kicks to Lowe. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. First personal foul. That's on Keegan Murray. The Nuggets shooting their first free throws here tonight. You've got to appreciate their ability to make free throws. 81% as a team. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. No good on the free throw. And for the last several years, Brent, the Nuggets have been a top-passing team in the NBA. Now, such a huge part of their success. They're an unselfish team. It's so hard to defend guys who are not only willing to move, but willing to give up the ball to guys on the move. And that's what they do. Such a cohesive unit here for the Denver Nuggets. And the second free throw, good. Here's Fox. Five points in the game. Outside, Sabonis. Has to shake him. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. And such a strong part of what Sabonis brings to the game. Quality passing. And so it's Murray who brings the ball up for Denver. They trail by one. Their last game, a win against the Lakers, looking to carry it into this one. Yeah, those road games are tricky, but, but they had a good strategy going in and stuck to what they do best. Yeah, watching that game quarter to quarter, they sped up, they slowed down, but they executed in every facet. Here's Sabonis following the score by Jamal Murray. Sabonis finds Bogdanovich. There's shake and bake. Screen by Sabonis. Shot clock at five. The wide open look here for Fox. A three-pointer, no good. Porter passes to Jokic. Shake and bake. He's guarded by Jennings. Took him no time at all on that one. Total focus from Bogdanovich on that shot. Ready to fire off the feed. Bogdanovich against Porter. Trying to find Jennings. He's got it now. Tries from seven. And DeMontis Sabonis pulls it down. The Kings leading. Looking it over. Passes it to Shaken. Pat Danovich wide open. Another three for Sacramento. Uh, he's such a consistent shooter from range. Don't go hitting Bogdanovich open shots. Murray against Fox. Murray the pass to Jokic. A three. It's hauled in by the Kings. This game coming after a loss against the Pistons. A game they definitely felt they could win, and with a break here or there, they probably could have. Uh, maybe should have. The score doesn't indicate just how well they competed in that game. For the majority of it, they looked like the better team. Now here's Murray, following the miss shot by Sabonis. And here is Fox. He's coming off a 25-point game against Detroit. Shake and bake, no good. This is a rough stretch right here for him offensively. Seems to be rushing shots. Here's Jokic. The Nuggets with another miss. Now that's just enough defensive pressure on him to throw off that shot. I bet he gets a, a good look at it next time and hits it. Now the pass to Shaken. Sacramento again missing. Time for some consideration in the passing category, maybe, Kevin. The shot is just not on. Get somebody else going. Outside for Murray. That's in, coming off the assist from Jokic. Murray's got five. Well, a polished score and good recognition as Jamal Murray understood the timing that he needed to catch and fire. Porter with a block. Now refines Jennings. No luck that time on the shot that would have put them on top. Shake and bake passes to Fox. Fox is double. Right open look here for Murray. Buries the long range jumper. More and more improved floor awareness for De'Aaron Fox. 
Fox against Murray. Jokic sets the screen for Murray to the middle, and that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle, and two shots coming up. It's going to go on Sabonis. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. Hey, guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown so far for the Kings. Absolutely dialed in from beyond the arc so far in this one. The defense is surrendering the long-range shot here early on. So much good energy and flow tonight, and that has really come out of great ball movement. Guys have been open, and as soon as they are, they get the ball. Free throw, good. Jokic. Feel like Jokic could play with the baton out there because he's orchestrating. Sacramento making a switch here. Monks checked in, and a switcher also for Denver. Aaron Gordon, he's checking in for Michael Porter. And Jokic drops them both. At this point, you might as well go ahead and chalk up the points when he's at the free throw line. Pretty much automatic. Sabonis kicks to Fox. Going inside. And it's Jokic with the rebound. And, and, and typically, he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that position. Up top, Jennings. Defended by Sabonis. There's the three. The Nuggets with another miss. Give him a little credit. Take some guts to keep shooting if you're struggling this bad. It's getting a little bit ugly right now. And it's Fox with the jam. Fox getting some room and getting up. Timeout is called. First of the game for the Nuggets. Mitchell's checked in for Shake and Bay. And Denver also making the switch. Caldwell Pope's checked in. Here's Caldwell Pope. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against the Lakers. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. First personal foul. How about KCP, the guard getting in there, being active down low and forcing the defense's hand? At the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. You know, in the days of load management, we typically stay away from the talk of durability. But Caldwell Pope rarely misses games, stays in great shape. Always feels like he's good to go. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Here's Mitchell. Murray outside. Good 
and the assist goes to Mitchell. Murray's got six. And they are shooting the lights out from distance here early. Caldwell Pope against Mitchell. Pass to Lowry. Shoot from 12. Here's Jokic. A shot goes in. First of the night. He's one for three to start the game. Ah, the marriage of a big man and touch. There it was from Jokic. Mitchell with it. Sabonis, the pass to Murray. And there's the foul. It's on Keegan Murray. That'll be his second foul of the game. That's a whistle he did not want to hear. His second foul, and we're not even out of the first quarter. 22. Sasha. Caldwell Pope against Mitchell. Caldwell Pope outside. Now Jennings. He had 40 points in the win against the Lakers in Los Angeles. Jennings. Felt like he had a sense in that game that the defense was being over aggressive and he tried to take advantage of that. He continually frustrated them throughout the night and got to the free throw line. Here's Fox. The Nuggets getting the bucket. Pass to Vizenko. Oh, good on the three. And it's Gordon with the ball. He brings it up for Denver. Trailing by two. Outside for Lowry. And that won't go. Missing the go-ahead bucket. And, and already, they take out a noticeable advantage in terms of aggression and controlling the backboard. The Nuggets have gone 6 of 14 shooting the ball since the start of the game. Gordon, the pass to Jokic. And again, it's Denver. Good job reading the floor. Aaron Gordon solid at sensing when someone's open. Gordon against Monk. A shot by Sabonis. Nobody around. With nobody on him, he buries the jumper. Yeah, here's a list of things I don't want to do. And right at the top is guard that guy. And after a rocky start to his career, it, it's safe to say that Malik Monk has found his footing in the league. Yeah, he's gotten some opportunities, Greg. And the fact is, this guy might be one of the more impactful bench scorers we have in the NBA. A spark plug, and he's trying to continue to expand his game. But man, in transition, this guy's tremendous. Well, that's a bonus right there to have DeMontes step out and shoot the three and stretch out the defense. Jennings against Fox. Here's Gordon. And he makes good on the layup. And that's what he does. I mean, he is a bucket getter. Kings leading now by three. Here's Fox. Seven points in the game. Let's it go from deep. Jokic grabs the miss. Nugget shooting 47% here so far. Here's Lowry. And the dunk by Lowry. And that's what he's known for, right? His ability to scan the floor and find open guys. The King shooting 45% from the floor since the game got underway. Out to the wing. Here's Fox with plenty of space. Shot goes down. Very quick possession right there. Can't talk enough about the subtleties in that setup right there. The assist, really the key to that entire sequence. Pass to Jokic. Jokic draws the double. Gordon, the pass to Caldwell Pope. Just five to shoot. But Nuggets need to get a shot off here. And here's Jennings outside. Hits it from three-point range. For three. Jennings has got the game tied up here for the Nuggets. Fox against Jennings. With some art. Rejected by Jennings. Gets that one to drop. That's his third field goal in eight tries. And the instincts there from Aaron Gordon just getting the ball to the guy ready to strike. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game. Mitchell outside. Monk, no one around him. Good, and it's Mitchell picking up the assist. Mitchell's got three assists now in this one. Denver's gotten a lot of shots off from three-point land in the first quarter, but they're only four if not. Fox against Jennings. And 
and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. It's going to go on De'Aaron Fox. And we're shooting their seventh and eighth attempts at the foul line tonight. Jennings taking two shots. And the first one drops. Both teams deciding to change it up. And Jennings drops them both. Well, a big fellow with the ability and confidence at the free throw line is something that every team wants. Don't have to make those late substitutions. Put your big guys on the floor. The first quarter all wrapped up, and it's been an exciting game so far. The Nuggets on top, leading by a point. Five from Golden One Center. You're watching 2K Sports. If you're just tuning in, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. And when you consider how Denver is doing, guys, what are your thoughts? I mean, the rebounding was the difference in that first period. You've got to block these guys out. Yeah, rebounding can also be just about will, and they showed some of that in going in there and collecting some boards. And so it's Murray who brings the ball up for the Denver Nuggets. They just couldn't come out on top last time they took on the Kings. That one was played in Sacramento. Yeah, you, you saw the communication breakdowns defensively. Just giving up way too many open looks. Yeah, sometimes you can play good on-ball defense, but it's the help defense that makes you elite. And on that night, nobody rotating and not a lot of help. So on the floor for Denver. The guard pair are Murray and Caldwell Pope. Underneath in the post, it's Gordon and Jokic. And it's Brown in at the three. Now, here's Monk. He's tightly guarded. Out to Turner. Pass to Vizenko. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. First personal foul. First and one thing I miss about this era, the emphasis on scoring back to the basket. You just don't see it as often. Well, you miss it, Kevin, because that's the only way you knew how to score. <laughs> yeah, right. So, uh, uh, no, it's it's not the most efficient shot. And trust me, when players come back in who can physically dominate the game and move players around, they'll get the ball close to the basket. But for now, let it fly. He's good on the second. Now here's Caldwell Pope. And around a minute gone here in the second quarter. Let's take this chance to look at the teams that have been the league's most efficient passers this past month. The Nuggets number one. And what stands out during this recent stretch is just how well they pass the basketball. I mean, this is a club that has become really unselfish. First free throw is good. Jokic drops them both. And we're about a minute into the second quarter of play. 
Now, here's Monk. He's covered closely. Turner dishes to Mitchell. In the corner, it's Monk. Turner with a screen on Caldwell Pope. Just four to shoot. Shots good by Turner. A big right Turner just using that height inside. It's almost a lost art. The Nuggets shooting at 50% in a decent group. And the wait is now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Kevin, thank you. Nikola Jokic amazes teammates with his vision. Aaron Gordon says he's a basketball genius. He plays it like chess, seeing it three steps ahead. You've always got to keep your eye on him when he has the ball because he'll find you. Even if you don't think you're open, you're open. He's a point guard, just in a center's body. Kevin? <laughs> that is very true. David, thanks. Bogdanovich, he's checked in for Sacramento. Denver also making some changes. Zeke Naji comes in for Jokic. And Porter subbed in for Christian Brown. Murray against Mitchell. There's Porter with the three. Rebound by the Kings. Monk for three. That shot off the mark. The Nuggets leading by three. And here is Murray. He picked up 21 points in their last win against the Lakers. Uh, his passing another high point in that game. He made sure it wasn't all about him. He wanted to get his teammates involved. Five on the clock. Puts up a deep three. And again, Denver no good. The Kings have gone one of three to start out the second quarter. Two points. That one goes. Monk's got his second bucket of the night. And that's why Monk was selected 11th overall in that 2017 NBA draft. Flashing that scoring ability. To the inside. That's good from Porter on the assist by Murray. Porter's got the lead up to three now for Denver. Just a much smaller defender on him. He does the exact thing at the right moment. Goes straight to the rim. And here's Bogdanovich for three. It's good from long range. Bogdanovich has got it all tied up now for the Kings. And so it's Murray with it. He brings it up for Denver. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Murray with an instinctual play there. He has that ability. You can see the play. It evolves. And then he makes a quick decision. Shake and bake. He's guarded by Caldwell Pope. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. First personal foul. The Kings shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. And how about as a group? 80% on the season. One of their best attributes. First one falls. Denver making a switch here. Jennings is checked in. He's perfect from the line this time. The Nuggets have gone three of seven shooting the ball here in the second quarter. Murray outside. Down to five on the shot clock. From 18 feet away. And that's off the glass and in. Murray's got 10. He's got a lot to do with the position that they're in a very smart offensive performance tonight from him. Sabonis sets the pick for Monk. And the layup is good. Sabonis has got his third basket of the night. Sabonis just rolling right into that perfect pocket position off the pick and roll. Murray with it. He's got 10. They set the screen. Sacramento with the rebound. Sabonis has got four rebounds in this game. Monk against Murray. 
Now, here's Monk. D right on him. Shakes him. They get it back. There's Sabonis. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Sabonis has got four points in the quarter. Sabonis is an elite rebounder, and that's definitely high up on the scouting report. Brent, many noteworthy second-generation stars in the NBA right now, like DeMontis Sabonis. Yeah, unbelievable. Had a chance to play against his dad, who was a, a force to be reckoned with at the center position. But DeMontis has exceeded him in some ways, like multiple all-star selections. And he's got his first chance at the line here. He's been doing really nice work at the line. 83%. Sacramento making a switch here. Fox has checked in. Jokic has checked in for Denver. We throw good. Porter. Michael Porter Jr. continuing to be pressed off the floor with these injuries to get himself righted back and healthy and make contributions at a high level. Passes it to Bogdanovich. Here's a bonus. Jokic defending. Sabonis kicks to Bogdanovich. The pass to Monk. This one for three. It's hauled in by Gordon. Gordon's got four rebounds in this game. Jokic passes to Gordon. Misses the three. The Kings have gotten just over 50% of their shots to drop here in the second quarter. They're five for nine. Here's Fox. Denver grabs the miss. Jokic has got five rebounds tonight. Here's Jennings. Good, and the assist Jennings. goes to Jokic. Jokic has got assist number five here tonight. Yeah, the smaller defender there really not having a chance. That's where a big guy needs to rotate over and help. Shake and big shot is good. And how about Mark there scanning the floor for the open teammate? That's how you develop a trust from your teammates. Now Jennings, 11 points in the game. Jokic sets the screen for Jennings. Yep, that one goes. Jennings has got four this quarter. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. Yeah, and the coach pretty smart for zoning in on him and giving him opportunities to stay with that confident play. The assist, De'Aaron Fox. Denver's gotten into trouble with the three ball in the second quarter. Only hitting one of five attempts. Marie finds Jennings. Pass to Jokic. Side for Murray. From the arc. Sabonis grabs the ball. Sabonis has got his seventh rebound here tonight. Back from outside. He is held in by Jokic. Jokic has got six rebounds now in the game. He dishes it to Murray. Jokic sets the screen for Murray. Fox with the steal. To the paint. Here's Monk, and contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. First personal foul. There, there's a quiet confidence that Monk seems to play with. You can see he just feels like nobody can guard him. Kid just plays with an edge. That one falls, and that puts him up by one point. And the Kings making a change here. Livers is checked in. Caldwell Pope, he's checked in for the Nuggets. And Monk drops them both. And they're really getting more points at the free throw line here in the second quarter. Fox against Jennings. Shoots a fader. Sabonis grabs the ball. He's going to be shaking his head on that one. Knows he missed an easy one. Yeah, you can't make them all, and you, for sure you'll want him taking that kind of shot. 
Sacramento moving it around. The 10 footer. Jokic grabs the miss. Yeah, it's pretty much the only way to keep him from taking advantage of you down low. You got to play tough, physical defense. Jennings, Jennings with the bucket. Jennings has got 16 points. It has been nip and tuck through the first half. Exactly, guys. The way it seesawed back and forth, unbelievable. Passed to Bogdanovich. Puts up a three. Good. And a nice assist from Fox. And the Kings lead by two. He's going to force them to have to make adjustments. That's number four in terms of triples in the half. Denver calls timeout. And as the coaches go to the clipboard to outline their strategy during the timeout, the players getting a chance to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's key to staying fresh all the way to the final whistle. And Kevin, it really is. And every one of these players knows it. They're all picking sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially uh, towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. For Denver. And a chance now to take a look at some numbers for DeMontis Sabonis. He's been on a remarkable tear this past month. He's putting up about 14 points a night, 12 rebounds, and 5 assists. And so much of what they do on offense depends on how he plays. And he attracts serious attention from the defense, and that really does open up the backside for a lot of his teammates to take full advantage. Jackson up top, guarded by Fox. And again, Denver no good. The Kings have gone 8 of 15 since we began the second quarter. Excellent shooter. Monk dishes to Fox. Trying to break that ice cold streak. Just not there from a rhythm standpoint right now. It's really eluding him. Porter with it. Now guarded by Monk. From deep, Jokic. There's Jokic with range. Good quick decision from Jokic. Catch it, shoot it, bury it. And here's Fox. He'll bring it up for Sacramento. He'll take on the Thunder at Paycom Center after this one. That's game one of a three-game road trip. Pass to Bogdanovich. The pass delivers. Stolen by Gordon. Oh! Wow. And he goes in for the dunk. And guys, I don't know that this is the time for that kind of flair. In a close game, the important thing is to get the two points, not necessarily the dramatic. Oh, come on. He had to go for that, didn't he? My goodness. Here's Sabonis, and he lays it straight in. Sabonis has got 11 points. We've got 148 left in the first half. Fox against Jackson. Pass to Porter. Outside Jennings. Outside for Jackson. Wide open. And that one Reggie drops. Jackson. Jackson's got his first bucket of the night. Well, the defense wasn't ready for Jackson to pull that quick one. Inside, Sabonis. Good, and it's Fox who picks up the assist. Fox has got five assists in the game. 112 left in the first half of the game. Jennings against Monk. There's Jackson with the three. Sacramento grabs the miss. Really excellent defense there. They know he's capable of knocking it down from the outside, and they could not have played him better. Here's Fox, and he drops in the way up off the glass. 11 points in the game. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Jackson passes to Jokic. 
outside Porter. But Trey gets in, and he's a very efficient five for six on the game. Three. Yeah, the D with very little pressure on their perimeter shooters. Three of the last five baskets they've allowed have been from beyond. Sabonis kicks to Fox. Bogdanovich passes to Fox. Rejected by Jennings. He's been off the mark, and that hasn't helped them chip away at the lead. It's been a theme here this quarter. On the wing, Gordon. And they call an illegal screen. That screen. Oh, when a pick like that is questionable, it creates that much of an advantage for the offense. You have to blow the whistle. Yeah, a quick little lean like that is going to get the ref's attention. Foul call. Here's Fox. Shoots over Jennings. He made it! He gets it to go! Wow! Wow! What a way! to finish up the quarter. That's an incredible shot there. Just let it fly, take a chance, and somehow that one goes in. And a close game so far through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Nuggets lead by five. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thanks a lot, guys. With Mike Malone, as the second half approaches, Coach, what are you looking for? Execution, pace and purpose with everything that we do. Uh, and making sure that when we call a set, we know what we're trying to accomplish and get the ball to where our players can be effective. We'll see if they can fix that in the second half. Thanks, Coach. Back to you. Thank you, David, for that interview. And we'll see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball. Come one, come all. The 2K halftime is here, and so is our breakdown of the upcoming schedule. Let's check it out. They'll be away from home for a while, away from their families. The silver lining is sometimes that helps guys grow together as a family. Like we have here in the studio. Sort of. Kind of. A little. I love you. Moving on. In that first half of basketball, things are looking pretty good for the Nuggets. Well, you appreciate their efficiency, finding their shots, then making them count. I will say, though, the defense they were facing allowed them to do a lot of that. It's usually that combination when a team is shooting this one. And that about wraps it up. And as the third quarter is about to begin, we go to Kevin Harlan for the call. 